Hello everybody, this is the Planet Earth here, and I wanted to share you my mental hospital scary story. I've been holding it in for a few years, but I thought I would come out and tell you the story. Back in 2010, I was admitted to a hospital, a state hospital, San Antonio State Hospital in San Antonio, Texas. It was around 10 p.m. when I was admitted into the adolescent sector of the state hospital. This place was scary. Half of the lights did not work. The people there were crazier than me. I was admitted because of anxiety. When I was admitted to this place, San Antonio State Hospital, I got mistreated and abused by staff. Nothing could be done. So what we did was we would put the beds in front of the doors which would block access to the doors to our room and the police had to be called but this is just the beginning of what was to happen while I was admitted there which almost drove me bonkers one day while I was in my room by myself it was after snacks around 8 30 p.m. and a lot of people were getting discharged so I was by myself in my room staff was at their desks they weren't uh, doing the rounds at the moment they do rounds every 15 minutes so I went and opened the door but I couldn't it was locked for some reason staff accidentally locked me in my room so I banged and banged and banged but no one came I guess they thought that I was misbehaving or just banging to bank because not everybody was sleeping yet suddenly I hear a loud boom noise. This boom noise came from the bed across from my bed. So I looked at it and the mattress fell off the bed while I was banging on the door. And it was locked so I couldn't get out until they opened it with a key. So, I immediately say, that's kind of weird. Did we have an earthquake or something? You know, being casual about it. No, that wasn't the case. All of a sudden, I'm starting to really bang on the door now. Now I'm starting to bang on the glass. And I'm banging as hard as I can, but staff still does not come. And the light starts to flicker, which is scary for me because... It was already a jacked up place and it was already eerie as it is. Which made it worse was by being in a situation where I couldn't get out of the room and the lights were flickering. One light started flickering, then the next light started flickering, and then the next light started flickering, then all four were flickering in on non-sequential order. So in that sense, in that room, being locked in there with mattresses falling off the bed was scaring the hell out of me. So, I was like, hmm, okay, maybe it's not too bad. Maybe it's just, maybe the mattress slid because I couldn't really think of a reason why. But then it got weirder. The lights completely went out. And the door started to shake. 
a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. And the door handle started to move up and down. And I started to freak the fuck out. That's when I went into... Uh, a panic mode. And I started grabbing the door handle. And yanking it to the point of breaking the door lock. And so, that door action handle came off. And I twisted it off. And then I started hitting the door handle against the glass. Hitting it against the glass, I did eventually break it. And that's when staff came. Staff saying, what? Oh, we locked you in here. We're sorry. I said, you don't understand. The lights were flickering. They suddenly came back on as staff was coming. And the lights started to stop flickering when the staff came. So I was like, I need a different room, please. They're like, no, we can't do that. So nothing abnormal happened after that. After they opened the door. Next day was even weirder. And it was scarier because it was storming. On that night, I was actually doing pretty good that night. I was getting closer to discharge. And they already fixed the door. So... Um... They allowed me to have my headphones in my room and listen to a MP3 player slash radio. I was listening to the radio and it started to static for no reason. Now, the radio, I was listening to The Beat, 98.5 The Beat. And all of a sudden, it started to static. The radio actually started to status. I was like, oh, here we go again with the batteries. So I open the door, go down to the nurse's station, and say, hey, can I get some new batteries? They're like, okay. And they gave me two new double A's. So I go back to my room, shut the door, and the light started to flicker again. But this time I had a roommate, so we're both looking at the lights. All of a sudden, the roommate's bed moved and jumped about a foot. He got off the bed and said, what the f... So, he got off the bed and wanted to get on the other bed, so he did. And suddenly, the bed slammed against the wall so hard, it left a dent in the concrete. But it did not do anything else that night. So, I'm about... 72 hours from being released from that psychiatric unit and the other guy's about 48 hours from being released so the next night we are just chilling and not doing nothing and then all of a sudden the door locked itself now as crazy as it sounds the door actually locked itself and we both freaked out because we had no key to it and the staff were in a emergency situation with one of the other patients. The other patient was acting out so they had no time uh, to hear the banging because we were at the end of the hallway, at the end of the corridor, as far as we could be. We were the last room. So hearing the bang, it actually didn't echo very well. All the way to the nurse's station. I would say which is a good at least 600 feet. It's a big wing. And the windows are like double uh, chained. You can't get out. It's either through that door or a saw. But there's no saw. So it was very difficult to get out. And we're both banging on the door. And then the lights just completely go out. And when they went out, we saw a shadow. This shadow looked like a human, but it also looked like some sort of other monster. Now, we started to freak the heck out because the shadow went through the ceiling and then back down. They went through the ceiling again. Now, I told them, let's just stay by the door. The room's pretty big. Let's just stay by the door. All of a sudden, the shadow goes through the floor, through the roof through the floor again and then goes into the other rooms and all of a sudden as soon as the shadow left the room the door opened unlocked itself and the lights came back on 
And after that night, nothing else happened. So, up until this day, I still don't know what that was. What we saw. But we saw it together, so I know I'm not crazy. But I'm thinking it was one of the mental patients that may or may not have passed away many years ago. At Sash. So, thank you for listening.